What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today we are going to be reviewing the latest batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, the C923. The last batch of 2023 is here, 13 years, 7 months old, and 133.0 proof. Let's go! So if you were watching this, you probably already know about the whole age statement thing. Uh, they dropped the 12 year age statement and the B523 this year was in the 11 year range and then the C batch is 13 year range. Very interesting indeed and also very interesting the first batch in quite some time that is over 130 proof kind of like the good old days. So super excited to get into this one and see what it's all about. I actually tried this the other night on my live stream and Honestly, wasn't blown away with it, especially with all of this crazy positive hype that's been going on behind this bottle. But I figured, to be fair, I was getting a little slammered, so maybe we needed to come back to it and give it a fair uh, grading without consuming five different bottles beforehand. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to smell it, taste it, tell you what I think about it, how would I grade it in the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof as a whole, how I would grade it through the 2023 releases, and if you should go and buy one. So let's get right into it. Let's smell the sucker. Very sweet. Melted caramel, toffee, uh, but then there's a lot of this, this peanut, peanut butteriness going on in there. A lot of oak, a lot of oak, and a lot of ethanol. So it's kind of jumping out of the glass a little more aggressively than, than we've kind of been used to with the other Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. Um, the past couple of, of years, um, they're a little more tame and this one's a little more aggressive. But yeah, I think it's very well balanced between, you know, all of the sweet notes and a lot of the aged notes. So it, it kind of smells like I took, I took the lid off the barrel and then just melted some caramel and toffee and put some peanut butter in there for good measure. And then I'm just letting it waft out. Very inviting, solid nose, but all I care about is how good it tastes. So, down the hatch. Yeah, Whoa, it lets you know. That's like the first thing that's just jumping to me is how, how much it lights up my tongue. And I really haven't felt that from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in some time. Not to say their mouth feels weren't great, but that just, tingled my whole tongue. It let me know all the way down. Great hug. Um, but yeah, it's it's hot. It's spicy. It's here to party. Let's let the mouth chill out. That was a shocker. That was, uh, that was a pinky that we weren't expecting. So let's go back. I, I kind of take back <laughs> what I was saying the other night. Um, if you were there, I wasn't, I wasn't that thrilled with it but man it's um this is a, a complex beast it, it really is it's pretty nice i think this is just a really great balance right just like the nose was a really great balance of of a lot of sweetness and a lot of those aged characteristics without either one conflicting with each other or overpowering uh, you know when you start getting too old it, it just becomes bitter uh, it's just too oaky, tannic, leathery. It's just not that pleasant. You need the sweetness too. I think this one's got a lot of those, of the baking sweetness, candy sweetness. So a lot of, to me, a lot of the darker ones, those are like more caramel, toffee, um, the peanuttiness. So I'm, I'm getting some peanut on it, but it's more like a peanut butter, just creamy, roasted peanut butter. But then past that, in, in a very surprising way, it starts turning into like chocolate to me, chocolatey. So that peanut butter right in the middle, it's like a freaking Reese's cup, um, dark chocolate Reese's cup right in the middle, which is, you know, I think I called that the other night. I, I said it was burnt, like a burnt <laughs> Reese's, um, which I still stand by that. I'm kind of getting it, but I'm liking it. You're, with that, with all of these other notes, is actually quite pleasant. Here's a little rich fun fact for you. 
Um, I don't know if you guys are big into s'mores, but once the weather starts cooling down, I highly recommend you making the s'mores like you normally do. But the chocolate part of your s'mores, put a Reese's cup right there, right under the marshmallow. Just try it, report back to me, it'll change your life. This is kind of giving me, if you did that with a dark chocolate Reese's, man, there you go. And then on the back of the palette is the oak. The oak is definitely gonna show up there. You pick up on the uh, the 13 year age statement. Is it that drastically different compared to just from memory other Elijah Craig barrel proofs? Yes and no, like I can definitely tell this has spent quite a bit of time in the barrel. Is it so different that it's like, oh my God, 13 years, seven months, it's so, it's crazy. Not really, but drinking this and realizing the age statement, it, it makes sense, you can pick up on it. I can tell that it has some extended age on it. I'm just mentioning that because I, I just wanna be straight up with you. I, I really feel like this isn't the first time we've had older stuff in Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I mean, let's face it, we really think all these years they they strictly put out 12-year-old stuff in Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I highly doubt that. I'm sure there's been 13-year, seven-month stuff in other batches too. Um, this is just a way for them to cause a little extra hype. Like, oh my God, 13 year age statement. We have to buy it. But I think thinking back to like the B523 the, with the 11 year age statement, is all of that 11 years? No, but I could tell like just from memory that there isn't, you know, 11 year stuff in this, if, if that makes sense. I, I'm just gonna have to side by side them to truly tell. But it is, it, it kind of seems just more complex, more rich. Um, th those notes seem much darker. Uh, the caramel just seems more dense, I don't know. Just everything about this is, is darker. It's just better. The finish is long, the mouthfeel, incredibly viscous, incredibly creamy. Like I said, peanut butter. It, it sticks around like peanut butter, dessert, which I freaking love. This is, it, it's incredible. It, it really is a great batch. Now, again, I'm not gonna try and, and tell you this is the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batch ever. I'm going to tell you this is a great batch. Take that as you will. Um, I, I can't tell you this is the best batch, go buy it, whatever. What I think is the best and what you think are the best are gonna be totally different. You could love a batch that I hate, you could hate a batch that I love, whatever, but I think if you're into Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, at this point in time, I feel like most of you guys know what you're looking for, you know what to expect, and you know when people say, hey, I really like this, that you can just take it for face value, it's gonna be a good batch. I think this is a great batch. I think it's definitely a standout, especially over the B batch from this year. I really liked the A batch, again, I think the best thing we're gonna have to do in a future video is take A, B, and C of 2023, blind them to truly see what I think of them, but I think this is a definite step up from the B523. I don't want to say it's because of the age statement, but just comparing them on face value, I don't, I don't think they're on the same, same page. I personally tend to basically always love the C batch. It's usually always my favorite, so, you gotta realize where you're at. If you're a sea batch lover, <laughs> this is it. Just go get you another. Go get you one. Now another thing is this the best batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof ever? Is this the best sea batch ever? I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Again, going off of memory, I think back on bottles like the C919, the C920. Really, really loved those bottles. Just phenomenal, phenomenal bottles. I've never side by side of them, so I can't tell you, oh my God, this is my the best batch ever, or to me. What we're gonna have to do, again, another video is probably just do a C batch blind and, and see how I would rank them, but it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, this is the one that's out. This is the one that you can go and get and recommend. Highly, highly recommend this. Just a great complex batch. It's a, again, 
what else could we say about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof? The notes are there. Just how much of them are we getting? How deep does it go? So there we have it. My thoughts on Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C923. You know, short and sweet. It's great. Stay tuned for those other videos. So subscribe if you're not. If you want to check out those upcoming videos that I will be working on. Check out the Bourbon Ranch Patreon page. You can get access to exclusive barrel picks. We have so many barrel picks. So if you want bottles shipped to your door legally, go check that out. We have a lot of really cool stuff that we are putting out very, very soon. So go become a nerd. And until next time, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.